welcome to my channel. Here's the question or the problem. The second angle of a triangle is double the first. The third angle is 40 less than the first. Find the three angles. So what kind of polygon that is being described in the problem? Remember, in geometry, a polygon can be defined as a flat or plane and two-dimensional closed shape with straight lines. Okay, going back to the question, what kind of polygon that is being described in the problem? So, yes, you're right. It's obviously a triangle. So, triangle is a plane figure with three straight and three angles. Straight sides and three angles. So, we have here the types of triangle. The equilateral. Okay, the equilateral where all sides are exactly the same. The length of the sides are exactly the same. With this isosceles, where two sides only have the same length. With this iskalin, all sides are different from each other. Let's start solving. Let's identify now the given. Let, okay, let me read. The second angle of a triangle is double the first. The third angle is 40 less than the first. And then find the three angles. So, of course, let X be the first angle. Then our second angle, according to the description, okay, double the first. Since we assume that the first is x, and we will double that x as the second angle. So let's put 2x as the second angle. Then for the third angle, according to this, 40 is less than the first, meaning x as the first angle is greater than 40. So this will be our third angle. Okay, before I start with the solution, let me remind everybody that a triangle, regardless of the length of the sides, even if it's equilateral where all sides are exactly the same, even if it's isosceles where two sides only have the same length, even if it's Iskalin, where no sides have the same length. So let me draw something. Okay, this is Iskalin. Oh, you see here? No sides have the same length. But anyway, regardless of their lengths, all of their angles, all of their sides end up with 180 degrees. Okay. Okay, let, let me erase this now.
since all of these expressions have the same variable, we have to combine the like terms. So let's copy x plus 2x plus x minus 40 equals 180. Okay, 180 degrees. Then let's add x plus 2x plus x. The sum is 4x. And negative 40 equals 180 degrees. So we're not yet done. We're still looking for the value of x. We will be solving for it. So next step. Let's transpose this negative 40 to the right. So from negative 40, it will become positive 40. In short, we will put plus 40 below in the right side and positive 40 also to the right side. Then, let's simplify. Of course, you will eliminate this because this is, already, this is already equal to zero. So, 120, wait, 180 plus 40, the total is... 220. Okay, 220. And then copy the remaining expression, which is 4x. In order to get the value of x, let's divide 4 by 4. Divide this expressions from the right and to the from the left and to the right by four. <laughs> then cancel four when divided by itself, it's cancel. And the remaining value will be the quotient of 220 by 4. Let's do manually. Let's divide manually. 220 divided by 4. Okay. Let me change the color. We have 5 and then 5. We have now the value for x, which is 55 degrees. Oh, we have the first angle. 55 degrees. Okay. What we do with this 55 is we'll replace this into another expressions. So, with this second angle, which is 2x, let's replace 55 2x. So, 2 times 55, the product is 110 degrees. Okay? We have now the second angle, which is 110 degrees. Next, we will replace the 55 here for the third angle. So, 55... 
minus 40, the difference will be 15 degrees. Okay, we have the first angle, second angle, and third angle. We will see if all of them, when added, would be uh, equal to 180 degrees. So let's add all together 55 degrees plus 110 plus 15 degrees. Okay, 55 plus 110, it's 165 then plus 15 okay the total is 180 degrees Now, it's your turn. The traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, then 72 seconds, and 108 seconds, respectively. If they all change simultaneously at 8.20 hours, when will they again change simultaneously? Watch out for the next video about the solution of this word problem. Thank you for listening and watching this video.